Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I'll be talking about the managerial round. In recent time I've seen that many candidates are failing in this managerial round and uh, it is very important that you understand what is expectation from you in this managerial round. See managerial round is more about how you manage things. Uh, you will have a couple of behavioral questions, how will you behave in a particular scenario. And it is very important that you understand that they already have our feedback from your technical round. Most of the time, managerial round happens after your technical round. So they will already have feedback of your technical round. They already know that what are your strengths and which are the topics which you are very weak on. So if there were a couple of topics which you were not able to answer properly in your technical round, try to revise those topics before this interview. But uh, managerial round, mostly you will have the questions from uh, you know all the aspects of a project delivery. So See, these managers or the leadership people are the people who have the word, uh, you know, bird eye view of a project. So they understand each and every phase of a project delivery. Uh, they will try to ask questions from development, then from deployment, then from testing, then from, you know, uh, post uh, production support. So they'll ask questions from every phase, but they'll not go very much in detail. They may ask question how your sprint works, uh, which tool you use for the documentation, which tool you use for the user story, which tool you use for the deployments. So they will ask questions from the overall project delivery, but not go very much in detail of anything. Okay, uh, there can be behavioral questions like, uh, uh, how will you behave in a particular scenario and uh, these questions are very tricky questions in this uh, in this round and it is very important that you answer them properly so it it may be possible that you have not seen that scenario but in that case you need not to get panic you just need to make sure to use your creative brain and answer it with the rule book uh, for ex for an example let's say if i give you a scenario uh, like if a client is pushing you to deliver something which is not practically possible for you to do within a given time frame, what will you do? How will you behave in that scenario? So there are possibly three answers, answers to this. Number one is that you will say that, okay, this is not possible. We cannot do this within time frame. Either you give me more time or will not be able to deliver. This is the first answer. Second one will be, you will say that, okay, I'll try to deliver it. And then you spend your day and night and day and night to deliver that. And you may be able to deliver as well, but this is not a very good answer because, you know, user stories will never end and their requirements will never end. And you need to define a very fine line between what you can do or what you can't do, you know, given a time frame. So, the possible and the best answer for this could be that you will try to talk to your leadership, your manager, your tech lead, your project manager, program manager or whatever. You will try to explain him why it is not possible to do to complete this in this time frame. What could be the alternative uh, solutions? What you can do instead of this? Uh, if you need a you know reprioritization of user story, you can do that. If you need extended timeline for a particular print that can also be done but you need to talk to your leadership not directly to client and then your leadership is responsible to you know uh, take ahead this discussion with the client's leadership of the client team directly so the rule book says that you need to talk to your manager or your program project pro project manager not uh, not to the client directly it's not a good idea to say no to clients directly because of course they they'll always expect you to deliver that's why you are their technical partner all right so these kind of questions will be their behavioral questions and you need to you know just answer them creatively uh, and don't try to answer anything you know with binary logic like yes or no there is always a gray line in service based industry and you need to remember that uh, all right try to answer them all the two try to you know Tell them how good you will be or uh, uh, what benefits you will bring if you join their company. So, uh, basically, they're looking for a person who is very flexible. Uh, you know, you, on first six months, you might be working on sales cloud. On the next six months, you might be working on community cloud. So they want a candidate who is very flexible, who is good to learn new things if something new comes up. These are the people who, you know, gets to know whenever a new project comes in. So depending on your interview, which are your strength, whatever are your strength, they will remember that, okay, we took an interview of the candidate who was good in that. Sometimes they take interview just for a, you know, uh, requirement, something requirement. So they look for a specific requirement. Maybe it could be velocity, it could be CPQ or something. But most of the time they 
hire an all-rounder who can work on any cloud anywhere anything comes related to salesforce and they they want the best candidate for them is someone who can be deployed on any project okay if and you if you try to become that candidate that will you maximize your chances because then they'll not think about anything uh if a community cloud project comes they'll assign you if service cloud comes they'll assign you so they want that kind of candidate who is not limited to the skill set or something related to related to a particular cloud uh i hope this will help you feel free to ping me on linkedin if you have any if you have faced any scenario and you want to discuss the answer with me i mean see i'm not an expert but i'll definitely Definitely try to, you know, and do best whatever I can. All right, thank you so much, guys. Thanks for watching.